surface proteins on gram-positive bacteria are important for the survival of those organisms, and particularly in, in uh, the pathogenic organisms such as streptococci and, and staphylococci. They use these surface molecules to attach to the mucous membranes of humans and, and establish infection. So what this um, uh, paper shows is that you can use an enzyme that degrades the wall, the cell wall, in a very organized way and therefore allow large holes to be formed in the cell wall allowing antibodies with fluorescent tags on them to get, enter the, into the cell so you can actually see what's happening inside the cell. One of the molecules we were targeting was a, a molecule called, called sortase, uh, which uh, is Im important in the anchoring process of these surface molecules. You have to realize that the, uh, the bacteria has to make a whole new bacteria within 20, 30 minutes. So it needs to make new cell wall and thousands of molecules of surface proteins have to be put out there and anchor it very efficiently within, within a short period of time. So these enzymes are very important in, in allowing this to happen and, and actually visualizing them uh, uh, doing this is, is very important in our understanding of what is going on during this process. Those molecules are vital for pathogenesis. So without them, the bug cannot infect or it, cannot, it wouldn't uh, evade the immune system, it would be just uh, cleared from the body. So. This is why we need to understand how those proteins, how those virulence factors are attached to the cell surface. Um, and that really contributes to our understanding of how the bacteria divide and how they basically, um, it's really the basic life of the bacteria. This technique uh, opens the door for uh, examining other processes. There are many processes inside the cell that we have no idea what's going on. And this would just open the door to allow us to do this in a pathogenic bacteria. We, uh, people have been able to do this in non-pathogenic bacteria because the, the ability to permeabilize them are a lot easier than, than to do it in, in these types of bacteria. So it just opens the door for pathogenic bacteria that are gram-positive and have a very thick cell wall to allow molecules to penetrate inside the cell to ask questions that we couldn't ask before.